Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your September 1st to the 30th general reading. This is for the sign of Cancer. I've already pre-shuffled these three times with the bridge. This is intended to be a general reading. We'll see what comes up. This may or may not resonate with everybody because, you know, there's hundreds and hundreds of people that watch this. And there's no way that I could read every single person. Six of Cups, Karma, or Judgment card. Then we have the Three of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. A lot of fire energy here, okay? Looks like there's some nostalgia or reminiscing about the past right at the beginning of September. This is for the sign of Cancer. You might be thinking about somebody from your childhood or somebody from your past. Looks like... Um, you're about to have some kind of awakening, some kind of epiphany of some sort. Could involve what your friends, it could involve um, another person, all right? It could involve somebody, a relationship, all right? There's going to be some kind of awakening of some sort. It could involve some kind of relationship. We're going to get a lot more cards to clarify. This is just the very beginning. Here we have the Two of Wands. That's about making a choice on where to focus your energy, okay? And it's exciting. It really is. Then we have the Ace of Wands, which is very exciting because that's an exciting new discovery or something um, very, it is exciting, you know, with something very, um, with the ability to grow, my words seem to be gone right now, um, something very fertile, all right? Sorry about that. Having a brain fart or something, you know, as they say. That's what that is. This is for the month of September. We have a fire sign here. Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have um, <coughs> some heartache, okay? So there's some heartache. And it definitely has something, to, you're, it's going to come to light if it hasn't already this week. And it might affect your, your home. Alright, there's definitely going to be some heartache. Here you are, Cancer. Right next to that heartache, right next to this fire sign or somebody who has a lot of fire in their chart. Okay, and it could be somebody from the past. Alright, you may be thinking about somebody from the past or somebody from the past might be coming into or thinking about you or coming into your life at this time but right now i feel like you must have a broken heart this is like towards the end of the first week beginning of the second week of september and perhaps you know you need to choose but this is a perhaps because this is a general reading you know maybe um, there's something that needs to be let go i mean maybe there's a two people i don't know i don't know there's something that somebody needs to be let go um, here we have, because this is a new opportunity to manifest something new, prosperous, stable, secure. I mean, this is really, really good right here. This is a new beginning on a physical level. All right. So, and right here next to this Ace of Wands, it's going to be exciting and passionate. Okay. And you are going to feel good. You're going to feel like, I think your self-respect is going to come back. Because you're going to be, it's all positive. This whole lineup right here is very positive, exciting, fruitful, fertile, happy. So, and I, that's where the focus in your energy goes. Okay, so let's get some more. You're definitely carrying around something that you don't need to carry anymore. Okay, could have something to do with your friends. Could have something to do with your relationships. Um, let's see what it is. If we can get that. This is a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. 
okay and that's who your heartache is over so you could have heartache over another water sign or over somebody in that has a lot of water in their chart um, perhaps the, uh, there's definitely a change on the horizon and it's going to take strength it's going to take inner strength to get through it all right that's all there is to it <coughs> Things have been a little chaotic. I think you've been you've been waiting. You were hoping that this was going to be it. That this was, you know, going to be the happily ever after. But I think that it didn't turn out the way that you wanted. And now it's time to let go. I mean, that's what this is. Time to let go. Time to cho change your focus. All right. Because probably there's something new. Especially with two aces right over here. There's something new that you're going to be very happy with. All right, it's going to take strength, willpower, confidence, courage, grace, um, patience. Uh, yeah, it is. Now, I'm, I'm just trying to see what this if this is work related or family related. I don't think this is work related. It may be if you can make it fit to your situation, but I think this is relationship related and it could be. Um, you know, it could even have to do with family rather than, you know, a partner. It could have to do with family because there's some kind of awakening, some kind of um, wake-up call that brings you some heartache. Not that you have, I think a lot of you have already had heartache and that you've been, you've seen this coming and that um, you were hoping that this was happily ever after. Um, here we have a Leo, here we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, here we have fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have you. That's who we have so far. We're going to get another deck. Um, you know, there could be... There's somebody, I think that you have been reminiscing about somebody from the past, you know, and I think that maybe you're, you are, this is a change, okay, and that's moving forward, and it's a breakthrough, and it's heartache that affects happily ever after, and it's letting go, maybe you're letting go of somebody, um, it could be, you know, because of, Let me get some more cards. I don't know why, but I think you're letting go of somebody from the past. Somebody that you thought was probably happily ever after. And I'm, I'm sorry to tell you that. <coughs> I think you, you're looking to focus your energy. Or they aren't giving you the ener their, their time. You know what I mean? Because this is focusing your energy in a different direction. Taking a change, of course, which brings you honor, okay? It makes you, brings you honor because you honor yourself. Because you want things to grow. You want passion. You want excitement. You want stability. You want security. There we go. Uh... I got it twice. This one and this one. It is time to focus your energy energy in a different direction. Okay? And this is starting over. Starting something new that you don't have expertise in. Taking a risk. Not knowing what's out there. Not knowing what, what's going to happen. Whether you're going to fall or not. This is taking a risk. Okay? Taking a risk whether you fall or not. Knowing that, you know, having faith that you're not going to fall. It is going to take strength. It's going to take courage. Okay, but it can lead to your hopes and wishes being fulfilled. Okay, this is also about healing. Maybe you need to heal.
from your childhood. Maybe there's something you need to heal from. Maybe you need to heal over some past heartache. Okay? Could be from a mother. That's why I said family. I was trying to get that to come up and I kept thinking family. So a lot for a lot of you, this will be family related because I, I just really think, think that it is for a lot of you. And in the, I do think a lot of this for some of you is relationship related because I think there's been some manipulation. All right. I see there's been maybe some impulsiveness. Maybe there's been, you know, a third, you know, my mind is totally gone. I don't know why. Um, I haven't done any drugs or anything. Um, and maybe that's how you're feeling right now. Maybe you're just like, oh my God, my mind is a fucking mess. Because for some reason, that's how I feel. It's like, oh my God, I can't even think. So that must be your energy. But this, I think there's there's more than one person involved. Either from your end or, the, or your partner's end. Okay, there's like a three-way thing going on. Love triangle. You know, something like that because there's a lot of passion, sexual energy here. Perhaps somebody acted impulsively. So some of this is family related and some of this is um, partnership related. Perhaps somebody had some carnal desires that they could not control. Um, okay. Because there's definitely some heartbreak right here in the middle. And now it's a time to refocus your energy. Okay. <laughs> Because there, maybe there's just no more interest in that situation. Maybe there's not enough love because this is missed opportunity in love or not accepting the love or something gone wrong. Okay? So now it's time to start a new journey because you don't want to miss any more opportunities. Okay? You don't want to miss any more opportunities in love. Um, I think it is time. This is the main message right here is it's time to start over. It's time to, to fly and have faith, okay, if you're single, you know, if it's a relationship, all right? If it's over here, it's the same kind of thing, but if it's a family, it's time for you to have faith in the future because that's what this little chick is going to do, okay? They're going to start over after heartbreak. devil card is a Capricorn. The son of wands is a fire sign, which I already named those off. Um, I think it's time to bring back, to honor yourself, Cancer. This month is time to honor yourself. Bring back the stability. Bring back the security. Bring back your passion. Bring back your excitement. Focus your energy in another direction. Don't miss another opportunity in love. It's time for you to spread your wings and fly with faith. Release fear and move forward. Because it could lead to your hopes and wishes being fulfilled. Alright? It could be very exciting. It's about taking action right now. When the opportunity presents itself to you, take action. Okay, when, you're, when the opportunity is presented for you to fly, to do something that st makes you step outside of your comfort zone, whatever this is, and this should happen, you know, I'd say mm, second to third week of September, maybe you'll be presented with an opportunity that causes you the need to take a risk, something you're not quite comfortable with. But the, the advice here is to go with it, to do it. To take a risk because it could lead to your wishes being fulfilled. With the two of wands, you definitely need to focus your energy in another direction. And you have that one twice. I'm just getting my other decks that I'm going to use. Alright, I'm going to use the uh, Vintage Wisdom Oracle and the Whispers of Love. And I'm going to give you each one of each. You may be missing an opportunity in love because you're not following the right path. Okay, you may be missing. This one just, shit, that's two. We're not going to do two. Um, yeah, you may be missing an opportunity because you don't dare to, to fly. The 
somebody, you know, the devil also represents like sabotage. So somebody could be trying to sabotage you during, you know, towards the second, second, end of the second week. Okay, so just watch out for that. They might be jealous. Oh, guardian angel. That's beautiful. All right, one more, and then I'm going to zoom it in. Choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. Interesting. <laughs> I got a dog chewing a bone and a cat playing the stuff. The fish tank running. Guardian angel. A gypsy peasant girl carries a basket while strolling along a woodland path. Daylight is fast diminishing and, a hev and heavy mist shrouds the landscape beyond. She pauses as if in a moment of quiet recognition. Perhaps she can sense the presence of her guardian angel above. Her guardian angel holds pink carnations which are associated with the tenderness of motherly love. They may be destined as a symbolic offering to be placed in the empty basket below. The word angel derives from the Greek word angelus, meaning messenger. As God's emissaries, angels are vehicles of unconditional love and service to humanity. In particular, guardian angels are thought to guide and protect the onward journey of the soul during its sojourn during its sojourn toward God. Guardian angels can take a myriad of forms which reflect the consciousness of the individual. <laughs> I can't even, like I said, holy moly, I don't know what is going on with you guys, but I'm having a really hard time. Guardian angels can take a myriad, <laughs> guardian angels can take a myriad of forms which reflect the consciousness of the individual at any given time. For some, the vision of their angel, whether seen, heard, or felt, remains fixed, but for others, it changes. The presence of this card indicates your need for reassur reassurance, direction, and protection, and invites you to enter the silence and connect with your guardian angel. Raise the vibration of your request by being mindful of the quality of your thoughts and questions, as this in turn affects the response you will be given. Be patient and listen carefully as our angels often communicate in unexpected ways, but always in accordance with the perfection of divine timing. Sorry for messing that up. <laughs> Choose love, 21. When I get done, I'm taking the bone away because it's really distracting me as well. Choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. When you choose love, negative feelings will have no place in your heart. There is always a choice. Telling and retelling a negative situation will not heal it. Oh, that's a good one. Surround the situation in love. Choose to see your responsibility and focus on love. Interesting. So, that's what I have for you, Cancer, for the month of September for a general reading. I am going to do a love reading for the first half of September and the second half of September as soon as I get these done, which will concentrate on love. Although this, I think, just had a, a, a part of love in it. So, take it as it is, and I wish it best. <laughs>